All right, welcome back. It's D back with another review for you guys. Today I got this big boy. It's 2500 uh, Ram uh, Longhorn Limited. This thing is a beast, man. Check it out. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around this bad boy. But uh, man, this thing is like just a beast. Let you see the inside of it. You kind of can see it right there, but this thing is a beast. Hear that turbo diesel? This thing is a monster. Limited uh, Longhorn Edition. Check it out. This thing is a monster, man. So check out the front end. You got this uh, nice chrome, chrome grill. It's an LED projector headlights, LED turn signal. High beams, LED fog lights, some front parking sensors up front, and your front camera for your 360 view. Check that out. Got your recovery hook down there. This thing is massive. Check it out. We got some uh, 20s, Fire Phone. Trans Forge All Terrain 285 60R20s. I think I'm saying that name right. Big lugs. That eight lugs. Gee, man. Big brakes behind there. Heavy duty suspension. This thing is massive, man. <laughs> Can't even fit into the frame. 2500 heavy duty script right there. Cummings turbo diesel. Chrome mirrors. The LED up there. Got your marker lights up there. I think so damn wide. Got your 360 camera right there. Some little puddle lights. Standard box. This thing is just huge. Check out that tire again. I don't know if you got to think about the ram. I mean, uh, the rims. They go with this white, like cream. We'll put like a jet exhaust on there or something. Check out the rear. Nice LED tail lights. I kind of love how ram do the tail lights. Looks pretty nice. Just four by four and chrome. Big ram. Trailer lights. I mean, camera, sorry about that. Rear parking sensor back here. This thing even has a false open tailgate. Looks nice. So you got the tunnel cover. So you got your, your fifth wheel or gooseneck connector back here. Say 20,000 pounds max. Man, that thing is beast. And that's the Mopar one. The Ram. Got some cargo uh, plug-ins and electrical, all that good stuff. That's 115, 400 watts max. Check it out. That thing is heavy duty right there. 20,000. Man. Check it out. That diesel starting to get to me. Never really been a diesel guy, but thought I'd check this one out just because look, check out the interior is already sold me. Check that out. Got like some snake skin on nice leather. This is a really nice interior, man. Check it out. I found the window sticker, it's all ripped up, but sorry about that. You can kind of pause this if you want to read it. If you can. Check out all the specs with the Alpine sound system. Check out all that specs on there. Got the fifth wheel, gooseneck. This mother's $107,000. Man. So check out these seats. Really nice seats, man. I love just like snake skin with your limited Longhorn edition stamp right there. 
Got your cowboy style uh, thing right here. See, I guess it really doesn't open. Oh, duh. <laughs> I look like this bolt over. This thing is nice though. This thing is nice, man. You guys gotta check it out. Two cup holders right there with the armrests. Get your heated seats back here. Two USB, USB C with the house all lit. Damn, it's like real nice material, man. Wish they give you the full roof, but um, I guess I don't think they do that on the 2500s. Got some speakers up here for that nine speaker sound system, Alpine. Nice texture right here. This thing is nice. Smells good in here too. Right, I forgot to mention you do get power running boards. You open the door and it uh, do its thing. Any day now. There you go. Could get blind spot and heat and mirrors. Uh, all that good stuff. I know you can flip these or extend them out. I mean, I'll show you guys that on the driver's side. But you do get keyless entry. Tap that to lock. Grab the door handle to unlock. Same materials you get in the back, just all throughout the vehicle. It really tell you nice. Check it out, man. Check it out. Nice comfortable seats. It's a standard controls. It's a lumbar. Got a jack on there. Step up in this thing. Nice leather dad. Everything you touch in here is like premium. Nice storage compartment right there. Nice real wood. Stamped in there. Show you guys the key. Ram Longhorn. Got your lock on lock, bed, your tailgate, most start, panic. Got more of that snake skin stamped. Get a USB. Nice storage. this uh, information, I guess, if you need it. I love how they got the Ram silhouettes or the previous models. It'd be nice in here, dude. Show you guys all this and get to the driver's side, but uh, check it out. You even got a nice leather cover right there. Man, this is a big ass truck. I'm not really going to talk like I said, talk about the like, towing and all that. You know, like I said, that thing says 20,000 pounds on there, so that's all you really need to know. Plus, it's a 2,500, so tow way more than a, you know, 1,500, obviously. That was a diesel, so. Then you got your diesel and your DEF and your diesel exhaust fluid. More of that good stuff. Man, I just love that snake skin in that wood. And you look like gold uh, door handle. So these are your goodies. Here's the 360 camera for your trailer kit. You can get that on your camp for your trailer. Hook that up. Get some more. Um, let's see what this is. More connections. Auxiliary switches and connections. Thing is loaded like I said. I can't even check for more of that trailer camera kit. This thing is loaded. Low tip. Hundred thousand dollars it should be, right? I know Ram got those uh storage. I forgot to mention you do get a storage under here. Put some ice or something in there. A couple brewskis. Check it out. Do get two person memory seating on here. You got your mirror control. Like I said, you can't fold these out. You just press that and uh, oh, wrong button. Press that. And it just does this thing on either side. You're really towing some heavy duty, some lot. 
this thing is nice though. So you can see the controls on the passenger side. You can turn the switch on back there, or the outlet back there. Light controls, you do get to can move the pedals, which is nice. I wish they give you that with the, the steering wheel, but guess not. Step up in this bad boy. All right, so we up in here, man. This thing right here is loaded. Full um, digital cluster. I love how they got that. Look at the detail they do in here. With these Longhorns. That looks to be nice. Nice steering wheel, nice soft leather steering wheel. More of that wood and that gold. Look like some bullet casings or something, the color of it. Copper or something. Nice Ram logo. Even got that leather wrapped. Check out the. I said I meant to say Harbin, Harbin Cardon. I said Alpine. Sorry about that. Nice leather up here. More of that wood. Hope you guys can see that. Pretty nice. But uh, yeah, standard screen up here. You know, Chrysler screen. Got these buttons right here to control everything you want to see. Driver assist. Vehicle information, so you can check all that out. Relatively nice in here, man. Off road pages. Like if I'm not really a, a 2500 type of guy, I'm more just you know standard uh, 150 or 1500. Uh, this bad boy right here, I just had to check it out. Got all your fluids and all that. You go digital or analog gauges. Looks pretty nice like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. You even get your precious little button right here to do quick menu. You know, select something real fast. Like a shortcut menu. <laughs> get that for cruise control button right there. Maybe just standard cruise control. Either or, it's pretty nice. Got the wiper controls. Check out that. Relatively nice. Check it out, dude. Nice in here, man. I keep saying it is really nice in here. You got your four-wheel drive controls, two-wheel drive, and uh, I wish they had a four-wheel drive um, auto, but I guess not. So they got a button for it, but I guess not. More of that. Got your full screen, big screen, vertical screen. You know, Ram been doing for a while. Got your camera right there. You can zoom in and all that. Zoom in and change the angle. Do whatever you want to do up or down, over, or you can tilt it, I guess. Why would you want to do that? Uh, yeah. Summer controls. I'm back to this though. Oh, you can get a little nice little cigarettes charger up there. Get your traction control. I'm not traction. Your lane keeping assist. That's traction. Nice piano black around here with some nice aluminum. Nah. But, uh, let me go back home. So your home screens. You know you familiar with this. You can configure how you want to configure it. But you got this like shortcut menu for your heating, your cool seats, and your heated steering wheel. Uh, so you know you can A5. So you know you've seen it all in the Grand Cherokees and Jeeps. Uh, you got your drivers and your Alexa and all that good stuff. But uh, you can, you know, change these. Whatever you wanted to see. If you let me. So you know, click whatever you wanted to see for your widgets right now. Just map and radio. Which is pretty nice. Got your media controls. Comfort controls. Navigation. Low fuel tell me to find a gas station. Need some of that diesel. So I'm not really, I'm not going to take it on a test drive on this one. So if anybody want to, want me to do that. Uh, got your dashboard, off-road pages. If you're taking this bad boy off-road. I don't know if you are. This thing is $100,000. I don't know if you is. But if you are, though, let me know how that goes. For your camera, your controls, trailer, and uh, towing. 
can see your trans temperature, trailer brake. And for your cameras, you know, when I tell you the, the big box back there, you can hook up different cameras and a whole bunch of kits and this thing. You really be really towing in your apps. Well, you got your, um, this does have the air suspension. Right now it's lower inches. Oh, wait, wait. Raise. So it does, it lowers the back. Not going back to normal ride height, but you can lower that to support trailer height. You know, so your truck don't be straight up in the air. You know, so it could be leveled up. But I'm gonna turn that back off. Now go back to normal ride height. See a little icon down there. Got your tow and haul mode, sauce brake, turn it full auto. Right here and go back to full or just auto or off front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, a bunch of the auxiliary uh, switches. You know, plugs on it's pre wired up. You just press a button and then boom, got your trailer brake right here. Trailer brakes, you know, this thing is ready to go, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Check out this little compartment right here for some coins or whatnot. Some more cup holders. Some more accessories in here for your hitch. Oh, that's not, I'll get to that in a minute, but you do get wireless charging right there. Yeah, that charges. But boom, there you go. think it's pretty nice man nice little compartment i don't know what that be for but usb c's two usbs uh, this thing is nice nice little house i i wish it was a color up here but it's way down there i guess you could just throw something in here and close it up but uh this thing is like i said ready to go ready to go check that out again monster ready to go hopefully you guys like this man this thing is show you out the backup camera it beeps like a <laughs> like a semi truck or something you know how big it is but you do get 360 camera you know, rear cross path view front camera front view you know like camera up there a camera that's back mounted by the rear uh third tail light I mean brake light so that's just the camera with off the bed I mean a tailgate and then right there you line up your fifth wheel or whatever oh you nope, can't do it for other cameras but you get the idea turn it off it's kind of getting my nerves but yeah this thing is ready to go I love how the running boards just drop down like that. Show you guys this turbo diesel. Check it out. Hope you guys can hear me. flickering in real life, it just does that on the camera for some reason. Right, so I just had to check this bad boy out, man. This thing is, that interior, man, would really sold me on it. Check it out. Like he's already got the tunnel, uh, tunnel cover ready to go. So this thing, tow a house, us. <laughs> It's nice though. Maybe it looks just like in a red or something. Still pretty nice though, man. 
Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this bad boy, man. Did you buy it for $107,000, man? Let me know, man. See you. Catch you guys next one.